Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum Channel. Today is Tuesday, July 30th, 2019. Our solar wind speeds are sitting at a 358.9 kilometers per second with a density of 2.3. Our sun is once again blank. This will now mark seven straight days without a sunspot, a total of 139 days for 2019. Taking a look at the SDO in motion, and Earth is about to be strove by three streams of solar wind, each following from these coronal holes that we see here. The first of the streams is expected to arrive on August 1st, followed by two more in rapid succession on August 4th. Polar geomagnetic unrest and possibly some minor magnetic storms are possible on those days. High latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras, especially in the southern hemisphere where winter darkness favors visibility. And now here's Mari. Thank you, Jake. Monday, the U.S. Department of Agriculture released its crop progress report, which continued the run of poor numbers showing the condition of corn and soybeans in the U.S., something the country's farmers know all too well. For the seventh week straight, the condition of corn and soybeans considered good or excellent has been 60% or lower. Monday's USDA report had the good or excellent condition of corn at 58% and the condition of soybeans at 54% in the eight key corn and soybean producing states. Last year at this time, corn was at 72% and soybeans were at 70%. This year, we've already seen the shortages in supplies in many stores nationwide. Indiana, Ohio, Missouri, and Michigan have the lowest percentages in both corn and soybean conditions. The 2019 season has produced a few unfortunate firsts for U.S. farmers, many whom started planting much later than usual or had to replant later because of extended rain and record flooding earlier in the year. More difficulties could come into play later this year with the first frost. Many meteorologists believe there is a greater than average chance of frost occurring. This year we have a significant percentage of corn and soybeans that will not be safe from frost since most still will be growing. At this time we're even concerned an on-time frost would cause damage. Please tune in to our live show tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be on live and I will be in the chat. If you like this video, please give us a like and a share. Check out thegrandsolarminimum.com. That's thegrandsolarminimum.com for more information on the Grand Solar Minimum. 